All right, class, today we'll be adding value to our principles and elements of design collage. We're going to create cross contour lines on one section of our collage and then fill them in with colors of value. In order to create these cross contours, we're going to start at the point of one of our triangles and draw a squiggly line with a sharpie. Once we've drawn this squiggly line, we're going to draw a couple other lines. This line for me would be vertical, and then my other lines would be horizontal. Now it depends on which triangle you choose, whether your first line will be vertical or it will be horizontal, but you're going to use this as your starting point. So I'm going to add my horizontal lines. They're also going to be just a little squiggly. Maybe one there, and one there. So I've got those sections. Now my cross contour lines are going to create depth themselves because they're going to make the shapes pop out and give form, which is what we're going to do next after our value. All of my lines on this side of my middle line are going to rainbow up slightly. So they're going to curve up like this. Some might be close to each other, some might be further away. And then all of them on this side of the line are going to rainbow down. So basically we have a smile and a frown. That's how we can remember that. So we're going to fill in that with some cross contour lines there. I'm going to add these rainbow lines up here. Some down here. A little more over here. And when I have the whole paper filled in, like my triangle here, I have several. You do not need to make this many. You can make just a few, like I did on the example piece. And once they're laid out, and you've used your handy dandy Sharpie to draw in all of your lines, you're going to start adding value. You can use a marker, it's on your desk. You can only use one color. <clears throat> I will only one color. Alright, so if we use one color, what's that called? Raise your hand if you know if something's only one color. Do you know? No? Okay. That would be monochromatic. You all say that? Monochromatic. So if we use one color, it's going to be monochromatic. And we're going to use that color to make a bunch of different values. So just like we talked about before, here are some of my darker values. And over here are some of my darker values. I'm going to make my next darker values right here, starting on the outside. And if I want a dark value, I'm probably going to draw in almost five lines, as many lines as I can fit in that section. And then, as it gets lighter going to draw less lines. They're not going to be as long. They'll get smaller as they go. So that it goes from being dark all the way to light. Now to make this even better, we're going to use what? a paintbrush and some water. I saw Mrs. Art Garvin put some magical powder in this water. When we use our brush, we dip it in the water. We run it over our markers. It's going to spread those markers out so that they'll start to turn to paint just like they did in these sections and these sections. So when we put in more lines in one piece of our contour drawing, those more lines will spread to be a darker paint. And we put in less lines, it'll be less paint, lighter paint that fills in that area. It will take a minute for your water to start spreading your marker, and that's okay. It can even spread after it's on the drying rack. So I'm going to add those in, and then I'm going to finish out this one. I'm going to let it get lighter right in the middle. This is my middle line right here because my rainbows start to go the opposite ways. I'm going to make my darkest 
up here at this end again. I'm going to draw in as many lines as I can fit in those couple sections and then start to get lighter as I come towards the middle with little teensy lines. And I'm going to add the water to that as well. start to spread and turn to that paint. So you're going to color in your entire piece with one color. Each line should alternate so that your darkest part and your lightest part don't touch the next line's darkest part and lightest part. Capiche? Okay. Now, how many sections of our collage are we going to fill in with our value cross contour lines? Yes, yeah, one. Okay, one section, one color, and it goes on the drying rack when we're done. Capiche? All right. 